Good afternoon. Welcome to Lee County 4-H in our daily Facebook post. I'm Pam Curley and I'm glad to have you join us. How does gas behave in a liquid? Today you will need effervescent tablets, food coloring, water, vegetable oil, and a clear bottle to put it all in. That looks good. More. That looks good. I don't want to start and see. I think that's good. Stop. Of course, for it's green. Yeah, leave a little bit of space at the top. Perfect. You did well. Oh, I didn't like that. Now we're going to watch this. Looks really pretty. Take the tablet into three or four pieces, and now you're going to drop one in. It just crumbled. I, well, yeah, just drop one in. Just one. Just drop one in. There you go. So now let's see what happens. What happens if you drop one in on the other side? Right now, let's just watch. Oil is made up of nonpolar molecules, but water is pure is pure polar molecules. No matter how hard you might shake oil and water together, they will never mix. Oil rises to the top of the bottle. This is because the water is denser than the oil. The tablet, after being dropped into the bottle, begins to dissolve and create gas bubbles. As the bubbles rise, they take a bit of colored water along with them to the surface. When the blob of water reaches the top, the gas escapes. Down goes the water. 4-H is a community for all kids with programs that suit a variety of backgrounds, interests, budgets, and schedules. From in-school to after-school, Clubs to Camps, 4-H's positive youth development programs are here in Lee County, and we welcome children who want to have fun, learn, and grow. If you enjoyed today's activity, we hope you'll check out all that 4-H has to offer at lee.ces.ncsu.edu.